Good morning, Tyler. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good morning, buddy. How are you? Oh, my God. What you are doing on this show is just it's so everyday life now, not only in this country, but around the world. And so to have the great food truck race, David versus Goliath, dude, this is this is water cooler conversation right here. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm so excited about this season. So this is our 16th season. We've been shooting the show for 14 years, which is just wild. And it gets better every single year. So we we had had this sort of like fantasy season that we'd always talked about because the, the show has, you know, so I think since like season two, um, been about the goal of getting a food truck. Right. Mm-hmm. So that, the, you know, and it's always it's kind of like this, like rock and roll food shark tank kind of thing because we give away 50,000 bucks and so it's like the starter seed money for a restaurant brand and a company that you know earns it and so we said okay what if we put them up against professional food truck teams do you think they would compete and so our first thought is these trucks are going to get slaughtered by professional teams that just kind of know what they're doing but then the crazy thing about it, it starts to level out pretty quick, yeah. which is wild. So so it, it's an amazing competition. Uh, uh, it, it's so much fun. Super family friendly programming. Everybody's going to find a truck they love. And so this Sunday, Father's Day, um, you got to check it out. It's uh, 8, 7 Central on Food Network, also on Discovery Plus and also uh, streaming on HBO Max. Well, I'll tell you what, the, the up and comers are going to be the chance takers. My eye is on them because they're they're going to put spices in there that that the pros, you know, oh, you know, because I think sometimes the pros are are so corporate that they they, they know what they want. But they, they're up against people who, who go, no, no, I want to take you down. It's just exactly what you said. David versus Goliath. They're, they're going to bring this. Yeah. They're going to. So a, a lot of food trucks that are really, really good at doing what they do. Um, they're, they're inflexible. And I think sometimes being in a food truck, especially with the challenges that we throw at the trucks, sometimes that flex inflexibility, kind of what mm-hmm. they do for a living professionally kind of starts to show a little bit so where uh, a lot of the rookie teams, they feel like they've got nothing to lose. And so they're just like, they, they can adapt quickly. And I, and I think that's probably, you know, what it takes to, to be uh, successful, not just professional, but, but a successful food truck out there in the streets, uh, specifically in the, you know, shark infested waters of, of, of Los Angeles, California, where there's food trucks everywhere. And so it's nice to kind of see that. But like I said, you know, once you get a couple episodes into it, the rookie teams, uh, they pick it up quick. You know, you talked about it being in Los Angeles, but the, the competitors are from all over the country, correct? Mm-hmm. All over the country, uh, Brooklyn, Hawaii, Miami. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chicago. Like you, we've got folks from everywhere. Wow. Atlanta. See, yeah. That's me. Now, now when you start bringing in regional truck food, oh man, now the competition is on. It's on. And you know, we, the, the team from Hawaii were spectacular. The team from Miami, uh, Deporta Sepa, they were so much fun. And so you get these different like genres of cooking and you've got this like, you know, slice of American pie. There was something for everybody, which is so much fun. And so, and so wild to watch, you're going to pick up, if you love competition, this is your show. If you if you own your own business or if you're in business, you're going to relate with all these teams because they're making like, you know, big decisions every episode. Like, how are they going to spend their money? Where do they park? And so I think a lot of people will relate with that. And if you love food and cooking, you're going to watch so much spectacular cuisine from all over the country, all different kind of walks of life. And you're going to pick up so many great tips. How important is it to bring your marketing game with you as well? Because I know that it, here in Charlotte, with, when it comes to the food trucks, they've got to market the hell out of themselves. They they really do for sure. And I think, you know, having a strong social media game in mm-hmm. the food truck space is really big. So I think you people need to know how to create really good short form digital content on their cell phones, because basically it's free. Uh, to be able to kind of produce that and create energy in an audience. So you have to, you know, know how to capture the moment of what's in front of you. So if you're, you know, in the middle of a busy service, you want to capture the energy of a, a good line. So if you're at a carnival or a festival that shows that you're popular and people love what you're doing. And then people love a good cheese stretch, right? So like, if you're like, if you're kind of pulling that big, you know, grilled cheese sandwich off the griddle and you can do that big, huge stretch in front of people, they just love it. So I think those are the things that become really successful. So I I, I think above everything, uh, you know, the social media, you know, either on TikTok or or Instagram with Reels 
uh, or Facebook, connecting with an audience digitally and, and to let them know to let them know where you're going to be, because um, that's a big thing. I was like, OK, that's really that looks delicious. How can I get it? So I think communicating with you know, where you're going to be every every turn of it uh, is really important. And look who you've got for judges. I mean, they play such a major role on the show. I mean, I, I've been with Chef Jet. Oh, my God. He's a chance taker in the way that he likes things that are just really weird and wacky. He's great. He's so much fun. I love Jet. Uh, he's such a good friend of mine, uh, especially, you know, in L.A. So we're kind of in his backyard the whole time. Uh, and he's got so much insight because he started his entire career on a food truck. So he's got so much insight on all this stuff. It was a pleasure working with him. So now what are you personally learning from all of this? Because, I mean, somewhere along the line, you've got to put out a cookbook because you're, you're getting really up close and personal with every one of these people. <laughs> Well, I, I've written 17 cookbooks, um, so we've got, so, <laughs> yeah, we got, uh, we got so much fun stuff out there. Yeah, for sure. And so as a matter of fact, my 17th cookbook uh, comes out uh, next spring called American Grill, which is really exciting. So I have, I have, uh, I have three restaurants in San Francisco and uh, and about to be five. We're growing pretty quickly here and, uh, and w- we love what we do. And so, you know, I, I went to culinary school, you know, I, I have, I've also have a business degree. So we like, so I have like, you know, kind of like really kind of great, like deep, uh, you know, level of experience inside the restaurant industry. And we just love what we're doing. So like I, I with the, um, with the, the television stuff, which most people was kind of where they know me. Uh, if you happen to be in the Bay area, we'd love to feed you. Cause I think that's where the rubber meets the road and you get a chance to check out our food. Well, listeners need to understand that your your show is also a place of where you go and you take a writing instrument and paper because you you learn a lot about every business. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I, I went to Johnson and Wales University, which is in Charlotte, by the way. Which is in Charlotte. Yeah, that's where I am. Yeah, that's right. That's where I am. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> I love it. Well, dude, you got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. All right, buddy. Listen, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Buddy. You be brilliant today, okay? Awesome. You too, man. Thanks.